Hey Virgo, welcome back. Welcome back. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you guys are doing well. It is the holiday week ahead. This is awesome. Hope everybody is exciting, excited, spending time with some family or friends if you are celebrating the holiday. Um, and on the 23rd, we do have the new moon. So I will do a reading on the 23rd for new moon intentions, okay? So if you're new, please do click the like, share, and subscribe button. This is a channel for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You do not have to be a Virgo to listen to these readings. And also personal reading link is below the video if you, in the description box, if you wanna purchase a personal reading for me. All right, you guys, last time, <laughs> one of the last few videos, there was that tapping clicking sound. Um, I think that my microphone was hitting my, um, the arm of my <laughs> glasses, or I don't know what was going on. I'm very sorry, hopefully that is gone now. Um, as I'm using my microphone again. All right, enough. Let's get into your reading. Okay, first card flipped out of the deck. The tower, lightning, sudden change, shocking news, a surprise, an epiphany, an upheaval, and a transformation. Okay, not necessarily a bad thing. We'll have to see what the messages are here, but there's definitely an energy of a sudden shift, an epiphany, an aha moment, an upheaval, things changing rapidly out of the blue, transformation, and a surprise, and also shocking news. So, hmm, it's kind of like, wow, cannot believe this. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. Okay, healing heart, healing from a heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Okay, somebody's definitely having a wake-up call here. Um, an epiphany. Wow, it's like, wow, somebody's, uh, maybe it's you or another person, it's like, wow, recognizing there's freedom or having freedom at this time from a toxic relationship. Okay, right when I said time, here's the clock card. Needing time, a, a time cycle, time to heal and progress. They said, just get one more and we're gonna pay attention here to see, oh, okay. Abundance and love, wow. Keeping a positive mindset, affection and attraction all right very interesting virgo hmm let's see what this shocking shocking energy is coming forward here what is this sudden upheaval a little more information on a sudden upheaval happening here with virgo or in virgo's life this is going to be the time period from the day or the moment you're listening to this video all the way through right before the holiday. So November 21st through the December 21st. Okay. Hmm. Somebody's trying to make a decision here. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Hmm. I'm feeling an energy of someone being very trapped this time. Um, backed into a corner, hands are being tied, they're paralyzed, maybe overthinking, um, having a lot of fear, terror, anxiety, feeling pressured to make a decision, okay, to bring something into balance, okay, hmm, all right, somebody's, there's a choice here, somebody's making a decision, trying to get out of this anxious state and get into um, a peaceful place. Okay, that's interesting. Show us more. What is going on here? Why? Okay. So, okay. I feel like somebody here is like coming to terms with maybe needing to walk away from a relationship. Now that could be you, it could be another person. There's Pisces, Gemini, Capricorn, and Libra. But to temporarily, uh, I feel like, okay, the overall message I'm getting is somebody here cannot stay in this fear-based, anxious state. There's like this trapped energy they feel trapped like backed into a corner 
they have this huge decision to make at this time. Okay, how to, how to, uh, it feels like weighing some options perhaps or trying to figure out what's the best course of action. And uh, I feel like there's somebody here also who is going to make this decision while they are on some kind of R&R, &R, rest and relaxation period, okay? Could be a decision about traveling and escaping. This is really, yeah, okay, hold on. They're telling me, get another card here. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of conflict connected to another person here. Okay, Leo energy there. A lot of conflict. This person is trying, it, like they're, they're making a decision about getting out of this conflict. Like, okay, should I do this? Where should I go? How should I handle this? Um, I need peace. I need to get away from something here. It's too stressful. I feel victimized. My hands are tied behind my back. There's so much pressure. It feels hopeless. I feel helpless. I got to get away. Okay. I have to like temporarily leave a situation because there's so much competition and fighting or arguments, disagreements. There's battles. Okay. Let me see. This is crazy. Wow. I mean, it's, cr this is just, okay. I, I don't know if this is you, Virgo. This is Taurus energy. I haven't had a Virgo card show up yet. This might be another person where they are in like dire straits financially. This person is dealing with abandonment or they have a huge struggle going on. Um, there's a feeling of left out, uh, being left out in the cold awful struggle I feel like somebody here that's what this epiphany is somebody here has realized that perhaps they made a wrong decision and they're stuck with the consequences and it's overbearing and they're trying to get away from this okay whatever the decision is another person made was a bad, bad decision, was the wrong decision, and they're suffering the consequences of this. And they're trying, and I feel like they're, I don't want to say running away, but I feel like they are escaping. They're trying to escape <laughs> the consequences of a decision that they've made. Okay. Also remember, um, I feel like this is like a, uh, how can I say this? It's like a timing thing, a cycle of time here. This healing, healing from a heartbreak or freedom from getting away from a toxic relationship or some kind of an addiction. Okay, hmm, that's interesting. So I don't know if you're connected to this person. If it's not a romantic relationship, it could be a friend or a family member who's going through this right now. Yeah, look, looking out on the horizon having foresight. I feel like this person is saying to themselves, I wish that I had, I wish I had the foresight before I made the decision that I made. Somebody really effed up. They made a real bad choice. And now they're sitting here like, it's almost like now they have hindsight, but they're kicking themselves because they, it's like I, they're saying to themselves, I wish that I had not gone down that path or not chose that path that I chose. It was based on highs, a high and low emotional roller coaster. Somebody was trying to, I feel like, ha either had visions of grandeur or the or the energy was like, oh, I'm just going to rush into this decision I'm making, not thinking it through. And there's consequences now for that decision that they've made big time and now they're standing like they go on this vacation or they go on this trip and now they're standing there by themselves looking out across I don't know the desert or the sea and it's kind of like wow they're standing there by themselves okay let me see all right the chariot so I have Aries and Cancer Oh, Virgo, this person, okay, they're, they have their sights set on you. This person now is looking at 
long-term commitment, marriage, relationship. Somebody might have, um, you know, with that lightning card, that tower card, um, there was like an unwanted change, disgrace, like I said, an upheaval. I feel like um, now it's hitting them that they screwed up or that that was the wrong decision. You know, people, you know, people sometimes don't have foresight and sometimes they just run on their emotions or how they're feeling without really sitting down to think it through. And somebody had a rush to judgment and made some decision that affected them greatly that actually put them in a worse position than they might have not even just thought about it they might have just tried to escape from something and ran into you know the frying pan into the fire kind of thing and now they're I, I feel like this person is, is it could even be something as simple as just making like a financial purchase that was that was too quick whatever it might be, a financial purchase, um, decision to leave a relationship, a decision to get involved with somebody else, um, a decision to move too soon, um, running out the door, you know, um, it feels like, an, like escaping the fire. Um, and now this person, like the fire has gone out, they're already in that place, they're already with that vehicle or that purchase or they've already moved and they're sitting there kicking themselves and now they're looking now they have foresight now they see what they should have chosen and, and if that was you or someone or, or something some other situation that would have been uh, like a, a, like not jumped into a big financial purchase or making a huge move I feel like this person is now looking and saying so I feel like this person, there's forward planning here with them, okay? Now they're back at square one because they're getting out of wherever they are. They're escaping again. They're going into like this, they're on this journey and taking some time to think about, like I see them, they're either they're in nature somewhere or sitting by the edge of a cliff and, and really pondering. And I feel like somebody hears they're thinking about something with you and really asking themselves now, what do they want? What I don't feel like they were really clear about that within themselves. I just, they just gave me that song. What is that song? Uh, who sings that? Running on empty, they just, those are the words. Running on empty, running low. Is it the Eagles? Running on empty, I'm not sure. I feel like, yeah, this person was like <laughs> running on empty. They have barely any gas left and they put the, the pedal to the metal and they just went for it and didn't really think about it. Okay, Epiphany, the Hanged Man. Piscean energy. So this person is definitely having, seeing things way differently now, way, way differently. Okay. Um, they're still kind of trapped for some reason. They're still in a situation that they can't fully get out of it just yet, whatever that might be. Yet their view, I mean, I feel like there's, there's a little bit of a limitation connected to this person but their view is changing. Definitely. They're taking this time and having that. See, look, it's definitely epiphany. Look at the, the glow around the head there. Okay. That's like um, a light bulb going off. Like an aha moment is what I feel like is happening here. Okay. What is this person going to do? Is this person going to take any action towards her? Oh, gosh. Knight of Swords. Absolutely. Um, big, making big changes. I'm going to seize a moment with you. Uh, arrival, departure, there might be plans for travel, you know, um, coming up during this time period. Very daring move. It, it is a lot to do with this shocking news, like a surprise. And I feel like somebody here is just going to come in with this completely different mindset, this completely different view and belief. And for you, Virgo, it's going to be a real shocker. Like, I don't, I'm not getting a sense. I feel 
like this person is really it almost as if karma got them or they just realized what a bad decision they made and they got themselves into hot water and I feel like I don't know if it's like running back to you or running on they're running on empty and running back to you type of energy that you were right about something or or you were the right one for them okay the emperor this person's coming back like completely stable structured in they have self-discipline and self-control stable and dependable father figure a fatherhood it could represent aries energy there also aquarius so yeah i feel like if you were connected with someone who is very unstable in the past or um could have been um you know a co-parent kind of situation something has changed with this person drastically yeah th that tower like the tower energy the lightning the lightning bolt that's like a weather event that we can't control that comes out of the fright right down from the heavens and just shifts everything like a tornado or a hurricane it just sh changes everything and I feel like this is what's happening and with this person and it's either like an aha moment epiphany or they, they <laughs> well I don't know if it was actually for some it could have actually been a weather event or something happened that really you know that epiphany energy is like when <clears throat> you have that light bulb moment like all of a sudden you're so aware before when you weren't and now it's like oh my gosh you, it, I can see clearly now the rain is gone yeah it's that energy and somebody's coming in and I don't want to blow smoke here Virgo because I know some of you are like you're not taking somebody back I, I understand I do but I know that there are some who are kind of like wow you know they needed to go through that that person needed to go through that and Virgo I know you needed to go through what you needed to go through here but I feel like somebody here has really got their comeuppance and I'm really picking up uh, Christmas time energy I just never saw this before but I'm looking at this emperor and I'm like that looks like Santa Claus so I'm just picking up some real strong Christmas energy Christmas magic <laughs> romance love Christmas magic and, and I feel like this person definitely once a reunion for some of you this could be a father this could be your own parent or a brother or someone that was out on the streets or um a friend you know um who just got into some really just got in a bad way with some stuff like i said it could have been a very bad a relationship or an addiction they're getting you know they're, they're free from the addiction they're getting clean for some of you whoever this could be I don't, I don't have to go through every single person um to you i think if this is resonating you know who it is and it could be someone that um, is going to show up and actually start contributing to the children or, or things like that right um paying that <laughs> backdated child support you know paying off all those bills or all that money that they might have stolen from you or taken from you yeah there's a very strong energy here with this person okay and I do feel <sighs> Virgo I just get a sense that this person wants to come in and have that happily ever after with you I really do and I'm not please don't you know I'm not trying to blow smoke here but I mean the cards are just coming out this way uh, yeah I, I want to marry you let's get married let's just be together you know coming together on the holidays family gatherings long-term relationship I feel like somebody here just made a bad decision they probably based their decision off their emotions at the time they maybe they were talking to another person or they were juggling you and somebody else and maybe things weren't going well with you and them and when they were in their high moment with that other person they ran with it and that did that just doesn't look good what happened there that was I don't even know if anything happened but I feel like your person is what happened and was like oh no I, I this was there's some this was not right this I should not have done that because they've lost something based on um, a rash emotional decision 
Okay, coming in with that strength. Yeah, freedom, the fool, Leo, Aquarius energy. Courage to come towards you. Okay, somebody's born 1980. Courage to come towards you. This person was lacking commitment. Might have been lacking commitment. Ready for a new beginning here. Definitely. Oh my gosh, there's so much travel. The Eight of Wands. Sagittarius there. There is so much travel here. I, I just can't travel, travel, travel. Like um, you're going to be connecting with this person over the holiday season. Whether they're coming to you, you're coming to them, you guys are meeting halfway, uh, you meet up and go traveling together, they offer to, you know, want to go on a trip or, or just spend some time together. That energy is definitely playing out. I mean, you, you both could live on... You could live in the same town and you could just both be walking to the same place and it's like kismet and you see each other. You know, there's a lot, but this is Cupid's arrows here. You know, haste, speed, progress, movement, action, rushing in, exciting times, freedom, holiday, holiday romance. So, <laughs> Virgo, let me take a look at you. I just want to see what your your energies are here. What are Virgo's energies during this time period? Oh, Virgo, you're like defeated. <laughs> Virgo, you feel betrayed. <clears throat> Somebody was bad mouthing you, maybe, or someone is an enemy. You um, felt like a doormat. You might have felt like you were a failure if somebody made you feel that way. You know, at this time, like I feel <sighs> it's exhausting. You know, um, even if you don't know about this energy, I just, I'm just looking at you, like if I didn't pull any of these cards, and I feel like right now, you're just defeated. Some of you are just having some issues with your back. You might be going to a chiropractor or um, getting an adjustment, maybe some acupuncture, but I just get a sense, it's like, some of you might feel like cursed in love, but you're at rock bottom. You are at rock bottom rock bottom somebody either backstabbed you you know you you there is an energy of some of you were kind of wishing or uh, setting your intentions that this person would hit rock bottom you know um but this sits in your energy could have been a gemini you're connecting with there's a little bit of bitterness or maybe feeling jaded because you got taken or something maybe taken for a ride or felt that way by another person who might have been juggling. Okay, but you, Virgo here, I mean, you're you're not defeated to the, like, even if you, a, a lot of you, I feel like you've surrendered to any miracle happening with another person. A lot of you just were like, you know what? I'm not wishing for nothing anymore. Uh, if they get, they hit rock bottom, if they come to their senses, great, good for them. But I see you here with the, the Knight of Cups. Like, you're, you're ready to offer your heart to someone or to receive love or any take up someone on an invitation you know you're definitely i feel like you know this person's rock bottom is coming later I, I feel like both of you though are hitting that um i don't know that you're open for to love from another person this is a scorpio card here you might be but i feel like you know the Ten of Swords, that's complete defeat. That's a complete ending. And new beginnings cannot happen until endings happen. So does that mean that you're going to forgive, express your love to somebody? Maybe, maybe not. Um, but I definitely feel like you're ready to be swept off your feet um, and to meet somebody and to connect with someone and have that someone with gentility and warmth and affection as someone who wants to date you and um, that charming energy and uh, someone who's very attractive I, I definitely feel like yeah you're you're <laughs> you are you went through it Virgo and that's your abundance right there okay um, and I feel like those cards up at the top are just two different energies because I feel like that uh, this other person had that lightning tower moment and is like healing themselves but time has gone by and 
time can heal. A cycle has closed for you and you're in abundance. You are getting your positive mindset back, feeling grateful. Some of you are even looking at a past thing and maybe getting to a point where, okay, let me just find the silver lining in this lesson learned, move on. But then you have love. Okay, so that nine of cups, Piscean energy. Uh, you're just trying, you're like, I, my wishes are going to come true. I'm fine. You went through something tough, Virgo. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. But I just see you, you know, you come to the end of this defeat. You do surrender. You're, you're not going to fight battles with ghosts, you know. And of course, you come to the end of things and you're ready for new love. And then you've got somebody showing up here. But you're standing here. You're standing your ground. You're really protecting yourself from getting burned by anybody. Um, I feel like you'll present a challenge for someone coming or anybody coming forward to you, Leo energy there. Um, but I also feel like you're very territorial at this time. You're protecting your what's yours. You're... Um, not going to let anyone come in and tear you down. Um, anyone that you don't know and anyone that's coming back, I do feel like you are, you're not going to rush back in with anyone that's, anyone from your past, you're not going to rush back in with that person. Because there was betrayal, because some trust was broken. And that takes a long time to rebuild that. And, you know, two, there's two mindsets about that. Okay, if you're going to build that trust back again, that's so much effort has to be put in where sometimes it's just easier to just forgive and move on and connect with someone where there hasn't been a betrayal of trust. Do you know what I mean? Like, everybody has their choice it really you kind of have to negotiate with yourself like what is the level um, of feeling for the person what was the circumstances it's not a one-size-fits-all I know some of you are like nah it's just not worth it it's it's we weren't even that close anyway I'm just going to move on and others have like many 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 moons with someone that you know are like well we have all this built up all this time this history you know, there, there's a little bit of like, hmm, a thought process, I feel, but it, but at first, yeah, the thought, a lot of anxiety, I feel like at first, Virgo, like, you know, you're, you're, you're protecting yourself definitely from anxiety or stress, that, that's really what this protection is, you're not, you're not fighting off love, you're not protecting yourself from having new love, you're trying to fend off anxiety and stress that's why you're standing up for yourself. So if you're a little defensive and anybody tells you that you're you're a bit defensive, that, that always comes from a place of fear. Okay, so you have a little bit of that going on there. Okay. Um, mental anguish. Maybe some guilt, regret, or remorse from some things in your own personal life that, you know, have... Um, you're having to work through at this time. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I definitely don't feel like you are, you're locked up in a tower <laughs> and not, and declining love. I don't feel like that is, it might feel like it because you haven't met anyone that was, you know, really piqued your interest or there wasn't a spark. And you might be saying to yourself, well, it must be me. No, if there's no spark, then it's most likely you haven't met that person or universe was bringing you and another person through a cycle of change. Um, could be a twin flame thing where you, you reconnect later where you both had to go through this difficult period and struggle. Okay, let's see. I'm also picking up September 21st for a birthday. September 12th. Um, so some of you, yeah, are just going to walk away. Um, you'll do the whole, if you have a child with this person or, you know, there's a family connection. Some of you will, you know, you'll keep doing the, um, 
teamwork kind of thing, but not investing. Okay. I do feel like that's like you'll, I feel like Virgo, some of you are actually now they're just saying in this position of walking away from some kind of commitment or idea of commitment or something that you wanted. You're closing a chapter out here in your life. You really are during this time period. But on the 21st of December, there's a major shift and a major change happening here for you. Huh. All right. You're connecting with love on the 21st of December. Absolutely. Two of Cups. We have Capricorn. You have Cancer Energy. I feel like um, there's a harmony in relationship there it's not necessarily a, rec a reconciliation but there may be a proposal or an engagement you know virgo it just feels like you're giving up walking away and somebody else is not going to give up um and i don't know that you're giving up because well some of you might be giving up because it's just not going to happen but for others you know like you might say uh, that's just like I said before it's not it's done but for others um, <laughs> this is like giving up because you don't expect somebody to actually have that change and listen Virgo majority of you the majority of you listening and this is why I don't want you to get yourselves too drugged up on the hopium the majority of you will not have the reconciliation whether you choose it or this person chooses it okay most of you won't but somebody will okay and that's the exception to the rule when people actually have those epiphanies and they have those awakenings not everybody gets an awakening most people are just very suppressed it's the exception to the rule it's the three strikes of lightning in one spot you know um, it's that Stevie Nicks song, lightning strikes maybe once, maybe twice. And, th and it's one of those things that you can't predict, you know. So, but I do feel like somebody here is going to have this connection with another person, that person here who's getting themselves together and is waking up and is healing, okay. Could it be you? having this with them absolutely absolutely it absolutely could but it is the exception to the rule remember that you know there's a million people who play the lottery and only one person's going to win you know and some of you already are aware of that and you're moving on and you're waiting for the next reading <laughs> but i do see there's a meeting of the minds there's two people coming together on the same page partnership compatibility uh, harmony, balance, equality, you both finally arriving. Look at this very mirroring energy. Recognition, two souls. Wow, that's our first court card. King of Wands. Hmm. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Okay. So let me see. This must be a specific, yeah, there's a reconciliation. Okay. Now for others, those of you who doesn't have that person reconciling with them, right? Which would be just about all of you. You will, after walking away, because it's done, um, you will connect with someone. Okay. And it will be a fire sign. Could be another fire sign. It, it may be your past fire sign, but it could be somebody new. Um, there's friendship here. There's meeting for drinks. There's coffee. It feels very holiday. It feels very Leo right now to me. Okay. Um, but this, this ending is going to go two different ways because I'm also seeing awakening and renewal. Okay. And then, wow, here's the tower. All right, you guys. So <laughs> there's definitely going to be someone here is going to hit, hit that jackpot. Somebody here is going to have that absolute healing, grace, lovely energy where two people, humility, humbleness. This is like, oh, I made such a big mistake. And another person's like, yeah, I did too. And can we forgive each other? And can we try to make this work? Yeah. For some of you, that is going to happen for someone. And for others, there's somebody else. There's a connection with someone else. And I'm just feeling 
they just told me someone who works for, are they volunteer firefighter, fire brigade, firefighter? Okay, I just heard that. that. That's a strange message. Let me just see what the romance angels have to say here. Now, okay, now they're also just saying there is another exception to the rule where both of these scenarios are going to play out for you. You walk away from a commitment that you thought you had or you give up on it and you connect with someone else and then there's a renewal of a past person. Okay. So let the energy play out. And if you are like, I don't know who this is, and I don't want them back, well, then just wish greetings and happy and happiness and joy for the, the next person that this might, energy might be playing out for. Okay, wedding situation involves marriage. So either way, Virgo, you're definitely going to be marrying somebody or accepting a proposal or giving one. That's in your future. Uh, that's going to happen if you've already been married that's going to happen again with somebody here and if you haven't been it is going to happen and even if you don't want it you still get the proposal somebody's making an effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take yeah that feels very six of cups ish okay so i feel like there's a soulmate connection here somebody is really going to make an effort for this true love romance of a lifetime very beautiful Okay, and also new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I feel like you're going to be in a little bit of a bind. <laughs> you know, or just kind of roll your eyes. Some of you might roll your eyes. Like, this is, this is just rich. Of course. This, this is how it works. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers. Okay, you're getting a phone call as well from somebody here over the holiday period. Um is going to be calling and reaching out to you and this starts up a whole new thing of you know I, I will tell you I didn't see an apology here though usually when I have the page of cups that is an apology but I do see two people here with a cup in each hand um, who have matured so there could be a conversation where you offer each other each other's cup as a form of like apology emotion exchange cups here exchange apologies okay so I, I feel like that's something that might just kind of come a little bit later okay let me see what the Chinese signs are who what Chinese signs do we have here rabbit monkey rooster dog snake tiger pig and we have rabbit already. We have dog already. And a dragon. Wow. Okay, so that could be you, could be your person, could be both, could be none. Just take it as it resonates. All right, I just want to get a couple of messages of love here. See what other messages there are. Um, so just so you guys know. Okay. <clears throat> um, tomorrow is Tuesday. So on the 23rd, I'm going to do a quick new moon reading. And then I'm going to do right after that, I will do the, um, the weekend and the holiday reading because it's going to be Thanksgiving on Thursday and I'm on vacation until next week. All right, you guys. So I'll try to pop in some shorts though. So I'm not going to leave you hanging, right? You'll have some shorts <laughs> going through the week. All right, let me see. What are your messages of love? Okay, interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. So there was an interference. There, For some of you, there was a third party or an external party. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could have been friends. It could have been other family members getting involved. Uh, external party. It could have been work colleagues or, um, yeah, other people or another person. Um, was part of a decision that y your person made to go towards those other people, places, or things. And that was a bad decision. This person is realizing that that was a bad decision. As far as your relationship goes, may not have been a bad decision for them to connect with those people in their mind. But as far as your relationship goes, probably didn't 
pan out for them very well. Okay, support. Lean on your inner circle during this time, Virgo. As always, everyone should have an inner circle. Some of you, your inner circle is right here in the chat or in the group me chat. So that's awesome. Keep doing that. Put away the computer, Virgo. From this point on, or after my readings are done, go on your vacation, okay? Or take that weekend off. Take less time working and uh, spend some time out in nature if you can, even if it's snowing or if it's like brutally hot, wherever you are. And also, I feel like a third party interference, they're just telling me, in a relationship has something to do with either somebody's phone or computer or apps or social media. Okay, and I feel like this relationship can only strengthen if that third party interference is like either put away or is getting less use and two people are focusing on each other, building that organic, spending time together, cultivating their relationship in real life right? The computer relationships, the dating, the virtual, the phone, the Skype calls, video, FaceTime. I mean, if you guys already have an established relationship, like in real life for quite some time, and it was solid, and then two people had to separate, and that was the only way they could maintain the relationship, that's, that's okay. But if it starts off where it is just screen to screen, and there's no physical interaction. There's a lot of inflection that gets missed when you're not physically in each other's presence. And those relationships fail. They 100% fail. They don't last unless it just starts where it's like a week and then you and then you guys meet in person and then like you build from there, then that's okay. But if it's kind of one of those situations where y'all are having like a sim relationship, that's not, that relationship cannot get strengthened at all. That's just living in fantasy land. And if you have a problem with that, you know, F off. Because trust me when I tell you, that does not work. Unless you are, and that's, unless that's the only way you're able to do it. Unless you have like extreme anxiety or stress, you can't meet people. And it's the only way you can have a relationship, the only way, then you do what you got to do. Okay, but I do feel like strongly what they were telling me was there was a third party interference had a lot to do with a computer um, or someone was on, you know, too much. It's so easy texting other people. It's so easy nowadays to just to just do that. It's so easy. Okay, soulmate, your soulmate loves, accepts and respects you unconditionally okay so there's a soulmate connection here for sure all right time apart some distance will help bring clarity and some distance has some distance has brought extreme clarity this was like uh oh this relationship can stand the test of time now if you want it virgo if you want it okay let me get some you know what let's do some numbers and signs okay virgo taurus leo pisces no gemini today what's going on okay let's see oh scorpio capricorn aries and libra scorpio sagittarius aries oh double scorpio okay so if that resonates for you, great. If it doesn't, don't worry. Don't worry. Someone's born in 1990. Okay, somebody's 55. Somebody is, well, they're saying 42. Okay, someone's born in 1971. And then I have the birthday, September 13th. These are like my Dungeon and Dragons. I've never played that game. But they came with zodiac signs, and I was like, oh, I love these. Um, okay. So they're giving me five numbers. One, three, three, zero, two. I'm also getting nine, one, two. 
which is also September 12th. And then I'm getting 531. Okay, someone also might be 53. I'm seeing August 23rd through the 27th. So 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, and 27th of August. Um, let me see here. Okay, somebody, birth date, year 1961. And somebody is 30 years of age. <clears throat> Or is going to be, okay, and then another person is 32. And then last but not least, okay, hmm, December 8th. December 8th, they're giving me. Just remember, December 21st, though, that changes over into Sagittarius season. Um, so there's definitely going to be a big shift around that time in Sagittarius season is all about gusto and oomph and going for it. So <clears throat> a lot of that energy playing out. I'm also picking up 1965. Uh, somebody is 48. I'm picking up a birth date, June 20th now, and October 12th. Okay. Let me see what, if I can get some. I'm just going to pull a few of these here. Okay. All right. Some of you make sure that your tires are good. I just heard because I see somebody changing a tire. Either you just did or you connect with someone or somebody asks you to help change a tire or you're just check your tires going forward. I just heard. Okay. Um, that was immediate. <laughs> And be careful that you are not speeding, because you might get a speeding ticket. Okay, let's see. Okay, some, I just, I could taste it. I don't know who's doing it, but I could just taste. Somebody is putting that disgusting ragu uh, spaghetti tomato sauce on something. <laughs> it tastes so sweet. I could just got the taste in my mouth. Ragu tomato sauce, either, I don't know if you're eating something with that, or you just put that on something, or, or you just ate something with ragu tomato sauce. You know, the jar, commercialized jar, it's like, there's so much sugar in that. It's, ugh. Okay, let me see. What else? That's crazy. Oh, and they just said, somebody, ha oh, so there's a house. I'm seeing a picture of a house, and it has Greek... Parthenon type white statues or uh, decor outside of a house, okay, or, or something Greek, okay, Athens ish kind of decor, or uh, maybe it's a house or it's by the sea or something to do with Greece. Okay, let me see here. Okay. All right. Um, so I, uh, so they're okay. They're giving me an image of bullets. I'm seeing bullets. I, I don't. I'm just seeing bullets. A whole bunch of bullets. Like silver bullets. Hmm. Okay. They're just sitting there. Silver bullets. I feel like they're not giving me name. Okay, letter C. Somebody's name starts with a C. They're just telling me. Oh, um, uh, okay, they're showing me the label of a bottle. CoQ, it says CoQ something, CoQ on it. So I guess that's some kind of mineral or something coq i'm seeing a bottle with coq okay let me see here um and somebody has lost a shoe and your shoe is under the bottom drape of the curtain i just heard or under the bed behind the it's covered in the blanket or a bed skirt or a curtain something that's hanging down like a curtain your shoe. Be looking for your shoe. <laughs> Such a weird message. Okay, let me see here. 
Oh, all right. So are you dancing or somebody's dancing or doing some kind of some okay it's it's um physical movement dancing or running in place or some kind of exercise i just see shaking your booty or uh doing some kind of exercise it feels like dancing i don't know if it's just for fun i just see somebody moving you know but you're not like you're not out dancing dressed up you're it's more like you're it's more like physical activity or some kind of exercise okay okay they just told me qatar 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 q a t a r qatar okay oh there's kaz again c a z that was yesterday oh and now they're just saying caesar pizza pizza caesar okay Caesar salad, Caesar dressing, somebody's name is Caesar, somebody had a cesarean, or two, or three, or four, um, but I'm hearing Caesar, maybe Caesar pizza, Caesar's pizza, okay, all right, and what the heck is that all about, okay, uh, all right, so they're just showing me someone's gassing up the car, getting ready to gas up the car for a long drive, going somewhere. Um, a couple and a child I'm seeing going somewhere. Somebody's going to see Grandma, <laughs> or Mima, or Grammy, or Gammy. And she's, she's right now trying to get all the the food together she's trying to get the food together she's out cleaning her house she's preparing or or soon going to see their their mom their mom their mother okay now i'm hearing joanne i just heard joe or joanne okay an outdoor wow there's that parthenon thing again so i'm seeing like an outdoor um family somebody is about to have a child as well like full on pregnant, so huge, ready to pop. There's an outdoor, some type of an outdoor event. <clears throat> okay. And then some of you have been, are, or will be seeing red cardinal, a red cardinal. Um, and that red cardinal is trying to tell you that you need to make a decision um, Choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional ones. There are sudden or unexpected changes coming. Review your options carefully. And, okay, two people holding hands. Two people holding hands wearing purple. Or somebody's wearing purple or, yeah, okay. That's crazy. All right, let me just get your charms and then we're going to be done. Oh, I, all right, so I don't know where it went, but I just saw um, an airplane right when I looked in. We also have a gun. Where is that airplane? So there's definitely, this is definitely a travel thing happening here. A lot of travel, a lot of travel. I don't know where it went. I don't know where it went. Okay, so there is a there's a gun. Someone's polishing a gun or doing something with a gun. Uh, remember, I said I saw bullets. Um, so maybe somebody's like hunting or you know showing off their gun collection or flexing the guns <laughs> in front of you. Okay. I feel like okay. They said don't get any more. They just said do the gun. And, and I saw like a 747 or an air jet, a jet liner. Okay, so there's definitely, oh, okay. Jet liner looks like a bullet, okay. I just feel like I'm, I'm arrival and departure. I'm picking up a lot of travel, airport, a lot of that energy. Um, and this gun, I don't know. It feels like, okay either okay they're just telling me uh okay they just gave me the dallas cowboys all right that's significant for some reason dallas cowboys they just said our son starting uh, a gun uh, 
starting a race, the gun goes off. Show me why this gun is here. Just a little more. Oh, High Priestess in the reverse. That, all right, you guys, this is, um, this is like no more hiding. Um, all right, they're just saying, come out, come out wherever you are. Um, somebody was playing hide and seek. Come out, come out wherever you are. Janie's got a gun. Janie's got a gun. I just heard, Janie's got a gun. I don't know what that, that's an oldie. Janie's got a gun. Maybe somebody's name is Janie or Jamie. Jamie's got a gun. I'm not sure. All right. The message is, we could just be here all day. So I'm going to leave that for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed that or found something out of it that was interesting. And again, I'll be back here tomorrow. And then on the 23rd, I'm going to do your new moon intentional reading. Okay, which we're going to take a look like what's behind you, what's in front of you, what's ahead of you, what obstacles and what you need to do. And then I will also end that with the weekend holiday reading. And then I will be back. Um, I'm not sure what day I'll be returning. But I like I said, I'll post some shorts for you all. So you won't have you won't go to withdraw from the house of Virgo. All right, you guys. So I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Have an awesome evening, an awesome day. And I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye. Oh, don't forget to follow me on TikTok. The link is below the video in the description box. All right. See you guys.